بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم hello guys today we will learn about a text view and a button view in android so let's start a new project and learn about these two controls so first of all we will go to file new new project here you can see we have different type of activities and add no activity this one this one is basic activity and this uh, is empty activity for now we are interested only in this empty activity because it will create an empty activity in our project so go to next now here we have to give our application name uh, I want to give it a name of text view and button uh, app app so this is the application name here this is the packing name you can give it a uh, um, whatever you want uh, your package name this is the um, uh, place where the application will be created will be saved and this is the language you can switch between Java and for then but uh, I prefer Java this is the minimum API level to which uh, our, our application will work on which our application will install which is API level 15 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich now finish now the application is building it will take some time now the application is built successfully so we will learn uh, run it on the emulator now start okay because we have not installed instrument for uh, this uh, uh, so it is asking us so we can uh, proceed without instant run now the application will uh, build again and install on the emulator so it will take some time now the application is on the emulator you can see the application name here on the um, action bar and a hello world in here in the middle so let's see why this hello world is here uh, so go to android studio now we have many folders here but we are interested in this java folder and uh, this resources folder for now so we will go to resources folder and see what is there we will go to layouts and in layouts we will go to activity man dot xml if we can zoom this you can see that here is a hello world um, written here so that is why it is shown in the middle of the uh, application in the emulator we can this is the designer mode we can go to the text mode as well of this where we can see the xml uh, designer for this here we go you can see this that uh, there is a loud constraint layout in which there is a text view in the middle so now we want to remove this text view and add a button and a text view to this so we will remove this go to the designer mode now to plate leads and now we will drag a new text view to this now you can design this like if I want it in the middle so I will attach it to the, the right and left sides and also give it a, a distance from the top so I will attach it to the top and now here it is uh, taking zero from the top now I will say it to take 34 I can give it a hundred as well so 
now it is 100 below from the top now we will take a button and now I will do the same for the button attach it to the right hand loop so that it come into the middle and then I will attach it to the top it is 0 from this uh, text view so I will give it a 32 now it is uh, 32 dp below the um, uh, text view now I will change the uh, ID name of this button so I will give this show I have given it an idea um, name. Remember, we will use this ID in Java. So now I will change the uh, text as well of the button. So for text, I have to come below, and this is the text. it is not changed why the text of the button is not changed okay show name now you can see the text uh, of the button has changed, has changed now we can give an idea to the text view because we need this in java as well so I will uh, give it name now now our designer is complete our design is complete uh, I will make it a bit big this uh, the size of the uh, on the list. but that I have to, I go to the designer and say this to take text take size of 20 SP okay now you can see that the text size of the text view is uh, a bit large than previous now we will go to java file and in java we will go to this main activity now we have attached that xml file to this uh, java main activity because the name of the xml file was activity main dot xml so in this set content view or dot layout dot uh, activity man this activity man is the that xml file there in the layout folder so that is connected to this uh, java file now we can access the text view and uh, that button view here so first of all we will create a text view object text view um, now button now now we can reference that uh, xml button and uh, uh, connect it to java button because this is uh, the object we created is of java button so java button did not recognize xml button so here we will cause that xml button to java button so that uh, it can recognize it is that it is a button so first of all we will take this text view uh, object and we will cost it to text view 
and then find view by id or dot id dot name txt as previously i have shown you that uh, we will use the name txt id and that button id in the java file so here we use we have connected this uh, uh, java button uh, this java text view to uh, xml text view by this id now in the same manner we will create uh, we will uh, attach the um, button as well name semicolon now we will attach a listener to this button so that when we click it it can listen and uh, show us a response so Now, this listener can listen the clicks on the on the button. If you see this on click button and click method, in this method, whatever is uh, done, that will be done on button click. So, let's uh, add some text to that uh, text view by in this click method on click method okay so text set now run the project and let's see that this my, my name is Khan is shown on the text view or not now the project has uh, successfully on the emulator now let's see that if we click the show button Mm, that text my name is one is shown on the text view or not you can see that uh, we have set the text uh, my name is Khan in non click method and it is shown on the text view when we click on the button so that's all for today we will learn we have learned about uh, button view and text view and this uh, tutorial and uh, we will meet in a second uh, part and let's see what we will learn and that as well.